So Google My Business appointment links are now rolling out. Have you seen your appointment link? And the confusion is, is with appointment links, they were sometimes known as booking links. Sometimes they're known as classes links. How do you make sure that you can get the booking link to link through to your booking page or your calendar? I'm also going to show the fact that sometimes these are links will just appear, these appointment links, because Google works with third party companies and will just add them to your listing or your knowledge panel. And finally, I'll see also what you can do to make sure that you edit the right link. And then by adding these appointment links, the majority of your competitors wouldn't have done this. So this is a new thing that's just being rolled out. I want you to make sure that you check it on your business and then get your link in the right place so that your customers can contact you. Because just think about it. If a customer wants to make an appointment and they go to two or three businesses and only one of them gives them online appointments, it's going to be much easier for them to contact you and your business than your competitors. So welcome to this video. So I'm Zane from Zanet Design and I help small businesses grow on the internet. So if you've got a small business or a service and you want to see it increase to get traffic in Google, to get traffic from the search engines and just for people to pick up the phone and contact you so that your business continues to grow this year, then these videos are going to be really useful for you. So make sure that you subscribe down below click the notify or the alert bell and that will tell you when the next video is released. And often these are timely videos. So they're going to give you a real edge over your competitors if you follow the instructions that I'm about to show you online now. So let's jump straight on to the computer and see what these online links are, what these appointment links are and how you can make sure that you have all yours in place right now to get one advantage over your competitors and see people booking appointments with your business. So we're going to look at these different appointment links and how you can get these online appointment links easily on your account. Um, I've done a search here in Google Maps uh, for web designers and I've come up here and you notice I've got online appointments with a tick. So that's one way in which you may be interested in how do you get this, which I'm going to show you in a minute. I did a search also here for London hairdressers, which you notice that when you have different types of categories, different types of businesses, Google provides different types of ways of showing this. Now, with web design business, of course, people can book online if they want some tutorials, they want some one-to-one, -one, which is what I offer. But with the hairdressers, of course, it's slightly different. You want to be able to book online itself. And you notice that whereas this one's got online appointments, which is accepted at this hair salon, I noticed that this one down here has this button schedule. Now this is new again from Google. I've not seen this before. If we open that up, you'll see here you can book online. Now this often used to relate to the uh, the app as well that you could download um, and you can message through this and you can book appointments. But there's more and more now Google keeps changing things. And I think this is where the, the, the difficulty has been is that people have got confused because one minute it was appointments. This is now called schedule. This is called book online. Uh, there's classes can be booked as well. Restaurants can book tables. Hotels can book accommodation. There is kind of almost like each category, each business has its own very specific way of dealing with Google. So I think the best way to deal with this would be to go to log into yours and see what Google offers you. And they are making it clear at the moment. So now's the time to do this because most people haven't done this and it gives you a chance to get ahead. And at the same time, it's quite easy to spot where they want you to do this. So just uh, to show if I, again, if I search for my business, you'll notice that in this case, I've got a request to quote, and I also here take online appointments. So it's worth just getting these uh, kind of um, realize that they are different. So booking an appointment, um, this is more to do with an online appointment. So you might have a calendar, you might have a, a third party software that can deal with this. And I'll show you where that is in a moment. With this, it's much more a case of just a communication through your mobile device. So let me just show you a bit more about these things as well. So if you log on to uh, your Google My Business and you go to the back end of it, you notice that when you now log in, there's often some new things that come up on the COVID little area. Um, so obviously updating hours and uh, COVID update has always been there for the last few months. 
But this is a new one, update online appointments. And this is now what Google's wanting certain businesses to do. Now at this stage, you just want to say that not all businesses will have this, but you need to log in, check to see if you've got it. Now, if you do have this, you can click on through. At the same time, just to, what it does in effect, it produces this here. So you notice I've got my website um, where I've logged in, but I've also now got this, what's called open booking link. So again, a bit of confusion here because it's called an appointment link and then it's called a booking link. Um, but in effect, it looks like it's going through to the same website, but it's not. Um, and I can show you that because if I click on this, if I open the link and you'll see, then it goes through to a particular page. And on this page here, I've got a calendar and I've got times they can book if I'm taking bookings and so on. Now, this is the, the statement that Google makes regarding this. So you may be on here thinking, well, I haven't got any of those things. So just say why some links appear automatically. So you might find that you've just got them already there. Uh, links to certain booking and ordering services can appear automatically with your business profiles in Google Search and Google Maps. These links are updated automatically via third party providers. There's no way to add, edit or remove these links in Google My Business. So if you do have, for example, if we go back to uh, this situation here, if you do have this occurring, it may well be that you've not asked for that or even this here, book online, but particularly here. Uh, and this schedule here is purely to do with the fact that they've probably been involved or they've con been contacted by a third party and Google's registered this. Let me just show you what happens if I click on it. And you notice now I can pick uh, what service type I want, uh, which member of staff I want to do it. So for, for a, a kind of a, a hair salon, this is ideal. But notice that this is provided by Google's partner with shortcuts. And this is where things are beginning to change, that Google's now partnering up. And this is really useful if you do want to take bookings and you do want to then obviously deal with it. So we'll come on to that in a moment of how you can make sure that that's uh, what you're going to do. So let's go back to uh, this situation here, update online appointments. If I click that, you'll notice then at the moment, I'm not taking online appointments. If I want to take online appointments, and this is what you really need to do, then you can click this button and it now will give you an opportunity to put your link in. Now, what you need to do here is you need to have a page on your website that takes appointments. Now, the easy way to do this and the one that just to get you started would be really to put your contact page. So if you've got a contact page, let me give you an example. And there I've got a form they can fill out and there I've got contact details as well. So that might be the first way just to get you off the ground. Ideally, what you want is you want to include the integration of a calendar booking system. And to do that, I'd recommend using Calendly. So Calendly is what I've used here and it gives you a calendar you can book and you can make all sorts of uh, uh, payments through uh, PayPal. And uh, Calendly has been really pretty uh, useful to use. I'll give you an example of how it works because it starts off free. So you can have one calendar for free as a booking system. And then if you want premium, you can upgrade, but it will enable you to, to have a scheduling. You can schedule it with, uh, if you've got Office 365 or Google Calendar. So all these things come free on the basic. So I'll leave a link down below if you want to integrate Calendly into your WordPress website or your current website as well. So in the case of here, if I was to going to add that particular URL, I'd put in zanet.co.uk forward slash and then booking, and that would take them through to that page and so on. But in this case, I'm not going to uh, have uh, booking, but that's just worth knowing. So that's what you need to do if you get this come up now, update online appointments. But if you want to have this request a quote, if you if you get this option coming up, then this is all to do with messaging. It's to do with downloading the app, basically. So when we go back to here, you notice you've got a section here called messaging. And this again is where confusion is because messaging at one point it was taking or calling a booking appointments. It, there's been all sorts of confusion, but at the moment, uh, don't get this confused. Um, I'm going to cover it just so that you're aware of what it is. But here you can download the app. So if you wanted to verify um, messaging, if you wanted customers to contact you directly and ask about bookings or ask about appointments, then this is literally just like a, a WhatsApp type of text thing. And to get that, you then just fill this in and uh, you go from there. 
in effect that will take you through to then the app itself where you can then install that on your phone and then you'll be able to take direct messaging from clients. Now sometimes you will see on the left hand side here depending again on your business you will see a section called bookings. Now again this is new and this has just come in particularly with Covid that seems to be that they're introducing this as an upgrade. So have a look to see if you've got bookings on the left hand side and if you do then you can do as it says here you can sign up for bookings with Google but this is where a third party integration comes in. So it might be that your category your business requires you to take bookings. So say you're a hairdresser, maybe you're a beautician, uh, maybe you do driving instructions, maybe you do aerobic classes. All these types of bookings uh, obviously could be done through a third party. So if you do want to take that integration, if you want to do that, then you can go to all sorts of other providers. Now here's one that I'd recommend because it starts off free. I'll put a link down below for you. But here you can have up to 50 bookings. So when you're starting out, that's obviously perfect for starting out. Once you get past 50 bookings, of course, then eight, eight euros a month is nothing at all and so on. You can expand it and so on. But ideally, the first few months, you just want to see, does this work? Is this bringing me more business? Is it worth the investment? And this in particular, Simply Book, is uh, is being authorised by Google. So I'll put the link down below. Go, go ahead, have a look at it. See if it fits in with your type of booking system for your business. And then you'll find that will be really useful when you integrate that into this section here. And then Google will basically then integrate that. And I, I believe it will then appear um, like we saw over here where you then have this type of integration, scheduling and so on. So that's kind of a really ideal way of benefiting from these new updates that Google's just released um, and particularly with this idea of scheduling using a third party schedule. So in conclusion and, and really to try and help you is appointments, bookings, online appointments, classes, Google's really working hard to try and now make these things work for you. So do take advantage of them. Most businesses, even 50% of the business never update or look at their Google My Business. If you're one of those just few 5% that makes a difference here, you stand out. I mean, if I was to just, if I was looking at booking and I wanted a book online, there you go. Out of all those, there's two, three, there's about three or four. So even though you may not be number one, um, you know, you might be number nine, number 10, people are more likely to book with you when they can see that there's a way of scheduling and booking and they can see the prices. It just means that people are much more likely to go this way in the future. I think COVID is changing the way people are shopping. There's a lot more online booking now. This is a chance for you to get ahead and really benefit. Now, another way to get ahead is to have some real gems that I've come across in the last six months. So have a look at this video and it will give you some really important Google My Business gems that most people have never looked at, yet alone optimised for.